Hello viewers, welcome to CV Learning Online. And today in this video, I will be discussing about the Galarkin method, which is a method to solve the boundary value problem. And here in the given question, we are asked to solve the equation d square y by dx square plus y equals to minus 1. And we are asked to find the value of y at x equals to 0 0.5 using the Glurkin method and we are provided with the boundary condition that is y0 equals to 1 and y1 equals to 1. So without any further delay let's get started. So let's write down the solution. After solution we need to consider or check the uh, power of the given equation and the here the highest power is 2 so we have here power n equals to 2 and uh, after that we need to take the polynomial which is will be taken as polynomial is taken one more than the power that is n plus 1 and we have here 2 so it will be equals to 3 and after that we will be considering a equation that is y equals to c naught plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x q we need to take it up to power 3 because we have polynomial equals to 3 if here if it were dq y by dx q then our power n will be equals to 3 and the polynomial will become n plus 1 equals to 4 then we need to add one more term here that is c4 plus c4 x to the power 4 i hope you understood this step now let's suppose that this is our equation 1 and we need to apply the boundary condition on this equation 1 and the boundary condition is y0 equals to 1 and y0 means this is our x and this is y Again here, this is our second boundary condition y1 equals to 1, this is our x and this is our y. So let us first apply this boundary condition. So let's write it down here. Applying boundary condition which is x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 y equals to 1 so from here we will have here y equals to 1 means 1 plus c no oh, sorry here it will be 1 equals to c note plus c1 into x is 0 plus c2 into x square means 0 square plus c3 times x cube means 0 cube from here we will have c note equals to 1 now again apply the second boundary condition that is x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 so at x equals to 1 at x equals to 1 and y equals to 1 we will have here y is 1 equals to c naught is 1 plus c1 y means sorry c1 into x and the value of x will be 1 here so 1 plus c2 times x square means 1 square because we have x equals to 1 here again plus c3 times x to the power 3 means 1 to the power 3 just put simply put the value of x y and c note in this second condition second time while applying the boundary condition from here we will have 1 equals to 1 plus c1 plus c2 plus c3 now these two one gets gets cancelled or if we bring this one this side then it will get cancelled and it will become zero so from here we will get the value of c1 or we can write it in the form of c2 also or c3 it is up to you but it will be better if as we have got the value of c naught so find the write it in the form of c1 so from for c1 we will have c1 equals to minus c2 minus c3 now after finding the value of c naught and c1 we need to find the value of c2 and c3 of this equation 1 so let's put down the value of c naught and c1 in equation 1 then we will have the equation written as y equals to 
C0 means 1 plus C1 means minus C2 minus C3 times x plus C2 x square plus C3 x cube. Now on multiplying we get y equals to 1 minus c2 x minus c3 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube now take c2 common from here and c3 common from here then we will have here y equals to 1 plus c2 times minus x plus x square similarly if we take plus c3 common here then plus c3 minus x plus x cube now differentiate the equation y then let it be equation 2 on differentiating equation 2 we will have here dy by dx equals to this constant becomes 0 c2 c2 times minus 1 plus 2x plus c3 times minus 1 plus 3x square the formula used for the the derivative is dx to the power n by dx equals to n times x to the power n minus 1 i hope you remember the formula now again differentiate dy by dx then we will have here d square y by dx square equals to c2 times this constant derivative becomes 0 so a derivative of 2x will be 2 plus c3 times derivative of minus 1 is 0 times 6x so we have got the value of dy by dx and d square y by dx square so let us put it down in the given equation so after getting the double derivative of the given equation or the value which was y in the form of co c2 and c3 we need to find the residue r e s i d u e which is noted by r and r is given as now we need to our equation was this so we need to find the put down the value of d square y by dx square which we have got after differentiating which was c2 times 2 plus c3 times 6x after putting the value of d square y by dx square in the form of c2 and c3 we need to put the value of y in the which was in the form of c2 and c3 which is this is our the value of y which is equation 2 so let's write it down there so this was our value of y up to here and uh, to get the residue we need to bring this minus 1 on this side and then uh, that that is what I have done here and then it is equal to 0 this is our residue R after doing this we need to do one more step we need to take the common C2 here then taking C2 common from here we will have here minus x plus x square and this plus 2 similarly taking C3 common here then we will have here 6x minus x plus x cube and this will be equals to plus 2 equals to 0 now we will have here c2 minus x plus x square plus 2 plus c3 5x plus x cube plus 2 equals to 0 now after finding out the residue r we need to uh, integrate to get the final solution to or in order to find the value of c2 and c3 and for that we have a formula integrate uh, uh, this limit a to b upper limit lower limit upper limit and uh, w i r times dx now we have we know the value of r and what is i and what is our upper limit and lower limit let me show you here and uh, we will find the value of w from the equation 2 this is going to be our w1 and this is going to be our w2 now let's move to our the step of integration and for upper limit we have got that the x value is from 0 
in first boundary condition and x value equals to 1 in second boundary condition so this is our lower limit and this is our upper limit so we will have here integrate lower limit means 0 to 1 and the value of w1 times r dx and this is going to be our integrate 0 to 1 and the w1 value of w1 is minus x plus x square and the value of r is here times c2 put down the big bracket here minus x plus x square plus 2 plus c3 times 5 x plus x cube plus 2 and close the bracket here times dx now what we need to do is we have to multiply these two terms and then we need to write the residue in the form of c1 c2 and c3 so that we will have the equation to solve who's on solving whom we will get the value of c2 and c3 so let us see how to do the multiplication in shortcut see here we have just simply write it down as c2 now multi for multiplication first of all multiply these th all with minus x on doing so we will have here x square and minus x cube then minus 2x similarly after multiplying these three terms with minus x again multiply these three terms with x square then this first will be minus x cube plus x to the power 4 plus 2x square then put the now move to our this term we need to multiply these two uh, terms with these two terms so c3 times multiply 5 or um, 5x plus x cube with minus x so we will have here minus 5x square minus x to the power 4 then again with x square so plus 5x cube plus x to the power 5 after putting the value of c2 and c3 now multiply these two with these two terms so we will have here minus 2x plus 2x square times dx now solve this to get the uh, equation and then we will integrate so from here we will have equation x to the power 4 minus 2x cube plus 3x square minus 2x plus c3 times x to the power 5 minus x to the power 4 plus 5x cube minus 5x square minus 2x plus 2x square times dx now after getting this equation we need to integrate this equation so now let us integrate integrate 0 to 1 times c2 and uh, here integration for integration we will be using the formula x to the power n integration of x to the power n dx equals to x to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 so x to the power 4 means x to the power 5 by 5 minus 2 x to the power 4 by 4 plus 3 x to the power 3 by 3 minus 2 x square upon 2 plus c3 times x to the power 6 by 6 minus x to the power 5 by 5 plus 5 x to the power 4 by 4 minus 5 x to the power 3 by 3 minus 2 x square by 2 plus 2 x to the power 3 by 3 times oh we have already integrated it so we just put the upper limit and lower limit and if we put lower limit here first we need to put the upper limit and lower limit uh, on putting the lower limit 0 all the term will be equals to uh, 0 so just put the value of 1 then we will have here on putting the value so we will get this equation and i have written it I let it as equation 3 now again we need to do the integration 
and uh, this time you will, here we had used w1 now we will be using w2 which was from equation 2 i have already shown you so again we will do integration of 0 to 1 w2 r dx so this is our uh, another step so and the value of w2 is minus x plus x q and the value of r is c2 times minus x plus x square plus 2 plus c3 times 5x plus x q plus 2 and again this final dx now we need to again do the same step for the multiplication as we have done we need to multiply all, all these three terms with this and again all these two terms with these two so uh, here is the steps which we need to do to solve the equation and putting the upper limit 0 and uh, limits 0 1 and 0 2 after integrating the given equation here we have we will get the equation in the form of c2 and c3 as c2 times minus 0 0.45 plus c3 times minus 0 0.723 minus 0 0.5 this is going to be our equation 4 now on solving equation solving equation 3 and 4 we will get so the, we need to solve the equation 3 and 4 using calculator and we will get the value of c2 and c3 c2 equals to minus 0 0.943 and c3 equals to minus 0 0.104 now after getting the value of c2 and c3 we will rewrite the equation y equals to 1 minus and the value of c2 is 0 0.943 times minus x plus x square minus 0 0.104 times minus x plus x q we have just uh, rewritten the equation 2 by putting the value of c2 and c3 here and after getting this equation just put down the value of x as we are asked to find the value of y at x equals to 0 0.5 so we will have here y equals to 1 minus 0 0.943 times minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.104 times minus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 to the power 3 now from here we will get the value of y which will be equals to 1.274 and uh, i hope this video was very helpful to all of you guys and uh, if you, if the video was very helpful then do like share and subscribe to my channel and if you want more videos then stay connected with civil learning online by subscribing. Thanks. Have a nice day.